instead of nudging people, what if we just pay them to do the right thing? Is that better, worse? Uh, it depends on the cost of decisions and cost of errors. So uh, you could, if you want to encourage people to save more, there's first a question whether that's a good idea, but let's right, stipulate. Right, but say it is. Just let's pay them more. Yeah, in Denmark, economic incentives have had significantly less effect in promoting savings than automatic enrollment. Uh, there's every reason to believe that in the, an area that isn't you know, hugely important but isn't trivial, that is paper usage. If you have a double-sided default for printing, an institution will save much more money than if, it, uh, jacks up the, than if the jet price of, of paper is jacked up. So often, a little nudge changing the default rule, giving some people some information, will have a very significant effect on behavior, more so than tax incentives or other economic incentives. And that's good, by the way, partly because on the cost side, it's much less. You're not sticking the taxpayers with anything. On the other hand, there are some domains where incentives have a bigger effect. We have evidence that uh, taxes for cigarettes have a big impact in reducing smoking. I think presumptively that's a very good idea. 480,000 Americans die every year. If we can cut that number, that's a good thing. Uh, whereas the warnings we now have on cigarettes seem to be less effective than uh, increasing the incentive not to smoke.